My name's Ashley Heaver, I'm the European Talent Acquisition Manager at Enterprise Rentacar. We've got operations in Europe in the United Kingdom, Ireland and Germany. We have in the UK itself over 340 locations. We've got over 59,000 cars across Europe. Candidate care is really, really important to us. We have different mechanisms in place to ensure that we are getting back to candidates. They will receive an email stating that their application has been received by us at Enterprise and that one of our recruiters will be in touch with them. So you've completed your application, you think you've done a really great job completing it, you get an email back saying thank you very much for your application but unfortunately you've been unsuccessful this time. I really encourage you to again ask for feedback on why was your application not successful. No doesn't always mean no. I've heard of stories where a candidate has sent an application form in, it hasn't been successful then gone up and spoken to them at a careers fair or a skills session, asked why the recruiter has gone back, looked at the application, been willing to give that candidate a second chance. Just because you've had a no, don't just give up if you're applying for a job with Enterprise. We want to see what you have done at university. We want to see, have you been involved in volunteering on campus? But we also want to see what customer service skills you've got, what sales aptitude you know you've got. That can be negotiation, that can be leading a team of people in one of your tutorials or doing a presentation. Really do your research, and that's not just for working at Enterprise, that's for working at any company. Research the employer, look at their website. On their website, it will tell you what core competencies they're looking for. Get as much detail as you can. Make sure that your application doesn't have spelling mistakes, it's grammatically correct, because they stand out an absolute mile. So just really be careful of, of those simple errors. When looking for feedback or speaking to a, a graduate employer, um, make sure you do it yourself. I've heard stories of parents and family and relatives calling up and finding out why their son and daughter hasn't been accepted for a job. It's much better if it comes from you. One application can stand out from another application just by simple things. Graduates perhaps don't see the importance of a job at, in retail or in a bar or in a, in a restaurant. Some graduates will just not even put that down or just write that they may have worked there. That just offers you great skills. You could have been a supervisor or a team leader there. You've got sales skills there. You've got flexibility. You've got customer service skills. And just going into that little bit of extra detail will, is the difference between a good application and an, and an excellent application, and which will hopefully make you stand out from, from the rest.